there are different types of uterine fibroid and uh, the treatment of each is dependent on the location of the fibroids. Uh, about at least 30% of women have uterine fibroids and many of them don't need to be treated. The time that we need to treat them is if it's causing symptoms. What are common symptoms of fibroids? So generally speaking, it can cause heavy vaginal bleeding. At the same time, um, it can, if it's big enough, it can cause pelvic pressure. If it's pressing on the bladder, it can cause uh, uh, frequent urination. If it's uh, in the back wall of the uterus, if it's pressing on the colon, it can cause constipation. And um, sometimes it can cause pelvic pain or uh, pain during intercourse. Um, I wanted to show you guys a visual of where the fibroids um, tend to be. So there's, diff there's three um, different classifications um, of uterine fibroids. So one is if it's coming within the cavity of the uterus. And again, anything that interferes with the cavity of the uterus can cause heavy bleeding. So that's called a submucosal fibroid. If there's a fibroid coming into the wall of the uterus, into the muscle of the uterus, that's called a sub, um, I'm sorry, that's called an intramural fibroid. And if there's one that's coming outside of the muscle but still within uh, the outer wall of the uterus, it's called a subserosal fibroid. Now, sometimes you can get fibroids that are coming completely off of the uterus. It's got a little stalk and it's got a big mass um, of fibroid, um, and that's called a pedunculated fibroid. And each one of these, again, is di treated differently. If we want to treat a submucosal fibroid, we can go in vaginally with a camera into the uterus and shave away at this fibroid and remove it. If I'm removing a fibroid that's pedunculated, it's coming off of a stalk, then it can be removed laparoscopically and we just uh, cut off the base of the stalk and remove the fibroid. Um, if you have a large mass that's coming within the wall of the uterus, depending on whether it's a single mass or if there's multiple fibroids and the treatment may be different. They might, they might need to be approached abdominally whether it's laparoscopic or done through an open procedure. Uh, therefore the evaluation and um, pre-treatment uh, pre diagnosis of the location of the fibroids is very important. It can be done on a uh, general physical exam um, and uh, other imaging um, modalities like ultrasound or MRI are very helpful in identifying the source of fibroid and how it is best approached.